I know why you're here. She started to pull away. Okay, your girl started acting up. When she starts to back away, when she starts to act different, this is what I want you to do. This is gonna make her chase you. What's good with y'all, man, guys? Listen up, bro. We are experiencing an epidemic of mass proportions, okay? It's getting out of hand. We got too many women out here wanting to control you. The problem is with women, once they control you, they are no longer interested. Typically, when a woman starts to pull away, it's not always because you did something wrong, bro. It's not always because you did something wrong. So don't go to beating yourself up out the gate. A lot of times, guys, what they are fighting for is territory over you. A lot of times, women just want to see how well you can avoid their control, how well you can avoid being infatuated with them. Okay, because really, they get drunk off the idea of romance when it comes to them being infatuated with you. Guys get it twisted too many times thinking that they need to be in that same mindset. That's when she starts to act up. That's when she changes her behavior and you left wondering, okay, what's going on? Because everything was cordial. Everything was cool in the beginning. Now, all of a sudden you pulling back, you pulling away. Here's how to reel her back in. Here's how to make her actually chase you. You need to make sure number one, guys, that whatever you have communicated to this girl, the energy that you've shown her, that has to remain a one like throughout the whole process, guys. The reason why she's even messing with you in the first place, guys, is because you presented something valuable to her. That could just be your energy, guys. A lot of times they are just looking for your energy, bro. Keep your shit on point. Here's what you're going to do. Since this bitch want to act brand new. OK, bet we're going to reset the clock. That's what it is, guys. We're resetting exactly who is involved with who. Your focus has got to be you okay your focus has got to be what you need to do i'm saying this because the next time you see her the next time you interact with her you want to make sure your energy is a one funny thing is we're showing her a new energy but it's not really new it's the same energy you started off in the beginning but it's new to her because somewhere down the line she forgot what it was like from the beginning otherwise she wouldn't be pulling away right bro so the next time you see her, you have to make sure that whatever you did, however you were acting from the jump, from that moment in time where she, her interest got sparked in you, you got to rekindle that, bro. You got to rekindle that. First off, the texting, calling, watching her stories on IG or whatever social media. That's why I don't even suggest you interact on there because how are you going to make sure that you keep your attention that you give her to a minimum? Make sure you're not looking at her shit, okay? Make sure you're not focused on what she got going on and this and that. You don't need to be sitting here observing her actions over her stories like the rest of the people and trying to fall in line with her interests on a day-to-day -day basis because it changes about 27 times every fucking hour. You have no business checking her story. That's just going to literally incite things in the back of your mind to make you insecure as oh i should be doing this oh i need to be doing oh that's why she pulled back it's because i didn't get her this it's because i wasn't doing this you're going to be psyching yourself into thinking that based off of observing her actions and looking at her stories so i suggest stop that stop the texting stop the calling there has to be a shift okay if she want to act brand new we got to be on a brand new kind of energy you're showing her something different but like i said this is really just the same energy you pulled up with in the beginning you weren't so concerned with her, bro. You weren't. You weren't concerned with whether or not she was super into you. You wasn't concerned with whether or not she was hanging on every word you had and this and that. You just wanted to be respected. And that's what you got because you didn't care that much. Our mission is to get it back there. The next time you see this girl, because there's been a lack of communication socially over text, calling and all this stuff, that's the difference. Now... She knows the next time she sees you in person, there's no choice but for it to be a different kind of vibe because you have done something out of the ordinary of what you started. You shifted from your original energy to being a little needy and thirsty. OK, bet. Now we shifting it again back to where it needs to be. The next time you see her, this is what your energy has got to be. I'm focused on me. 
she's used to seeing you go out of your way to do what? Interact, make small talk. That's not happening anymore, guys. When I say you're pulling your energy back, when I say you pull it everything back, when I say is there's going to be a shift and you're acting brand new, that means that she is not getting free attention from you, bro. She's not getting this free validation. Okay, that's what it is. And it's got to be to a point where you guys are understanding that these women, the reason why they like you, the reason why they're attracted to you is because of who you are. If you carry yourself like that, then that's what it's going to be. That's what's going to be the initial thing. See, you don't need money for that. Money's not going to do that. That's who you are as a person. Okay, bet you want a woman to genuinely like you as a person and generally respect you as a person to who you are. Pull all that energy back because in the beginning, she was watching, observing, consuming your energy. That's what women get into. That's the first thing they decided in their head. Okay, he's attractive on the outside. But when I come up next to him, when I interact with him, it's his energy that's keeping me here. So that's exactly what pushed her away. There was a shift. Okay, bet. Let's get it back to that. Let's get it back to you wanting to consume my energy. Okay. And then later down the line, she will be consuming kids. She will be babysitting kids because she'll be strangling your Johnson and holding it against his will with her throat. That's where we want to keep it. Okay. That's where we want. If she wants your energy, that's where it's got to be. Okay, baby, you can have some of my energy. I know that's what you like, but you're going to have to consume some of these kids in order for you to do that. You got to babysit a lot of kids. It's all about her respecting you, bro. If she is willing to do this for you, then she has earned the energy. If she's not, then she hasn't. Typically where it goes wrong is you start giving her things and letting her have things that she did not earn. And I'm just speaking from you as a person, bro. This ain't got nothing to do with gifts. So don't be getting no gifts. This ain't got nothing to do with, oh, let's set up this and, and do this and, do, and set up this trip. It don't got to do nothing with that. She needs to be infatuated with who you are as a man. The only way you get into the space of genuine attraction with a woman is her understanding that, yo, me being with this man is a benefit to my life. Me interacting with this man, it boosts me up. It gives me energy. Whenever I'm around him, I feel better. Whenever I'm around him, I do better. Whenever I'm around him, actually, I seem to look better. Pull all that away. Pull all that back. She can't have it anymore. There's got to be a limit to what you are making available with your energy. Because if you make everything readily available, she's not going to appreciate it. This is why this needs to be done. Women will complain in the comment section about, oh, this is immature and then this is... But y'all don't even show respect to a man that's really genuinely about you until he does something like this. OK, when you see her, you used to say, oh, hey, how you doing? What's up? Entertain a whole conversation. How was your day? No more of that. No more of that. Ain't no how was your day. She should be asking, how was your nutsack? Is it filled up? Let me drain it. That's how it should be. OK, if she wants your energy, if she wants your time, you need to respect yourself. You need to respect the level of security you bring to the table. You need to respect the level of confidence you bring into the world. Right. Because that's your energy, bro. That's what she really misses. I'm telling you guys, if you just carry yourself in this kind of way, you won't have to take it to, oh, I need to do all these extravagant trips. I need to spend all this money. You don't got to trick nothing. There is no trick. There is no trick if they just really like to be around you, if they really just get lost in the consumption of your energy. And that's how it is, guys. They gonna consume something. You can have my energy when you jump in on my Johnson. You can have my energy. You can't have my energy through me paying and, and spending money on you. That's not how it's going to work. This keeps your pockets heavy. That's where we want to keep it. When you over here splurging and feeling like you got to do extra to keep it at the same level, that's where you already know you've been messing up. And that's when it, you can only expect her to start pulling away. And when she pulls away, she's not respecting who you are as a man. She's not respecting your energy slash time. So it has to come back. It all has to come back. We go back to cordial. That's it. Oh, what's up? What's good? Your energy now, your energy is still exuding off of you. You're still showing that. She might see you and observe you. I want you to do this, actually. I want you to be seen. Let's say you see her at the gym and stuff. 
I want you to show and exude all this energy that she's used to, but don't let her have any. Don't let her have any. Okay, cordial. Boom. That's what we're going back to. Cordial. What's up? Cut out the convo. Oh, I missed the convo. That's what she's thinking. I missed the convo. We didn't have a conversation. Is something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Now she's thinking in that space, right? This was going to make her chase because now you weren't on her mind before because she got used to you. She took your energy for granted. Okay, bet, bitch. What happened? Did I do something? Now she's in that mind state. That's where she needs to be. It wouldn't have to be there if she didn't disrespect you and your energy in the first place. I digress. Moving forward, because you're still exuding who you are as a man, other people will naturally still be attracted to you, gravitate towards you, want to talk, have conversation, this and that. Keep it short, simple to the point, whatever location you're at, keep it short, simple to the point, because number one, first and foremost, you're focused on you. OK, you want to make sure you're still shining out here. You're still glowing out here to the point where that's attracting people. Some people can get some. She's observing you give some to some people. This makes her reminisce on how you was giving it to her. Reminisce on the times where she was getting that. She was consuming that energy. Well, no more. She's going to have to go out of her way now. That's what's going to make her chase you. She has to go out of her way. Well, I seen him talk. Well, damn, but he didn't give me no conversation. Damn. And when you're exiting or when you're leaving the spot, the situation, and you pass by her, usually what? You would say, oh, this and that. Oh, I'll see you later. Or, hey, let's do this. Or, hey, let's. Oh, and bye. And let's have a whole bye conversation. Fuck all that bye conversation shit. I'm out of here. Don't even acknowledge it. For what? Your focus is on you. Let's say it's a spot both of y'all frequent. This is a common spot y'all interact on on a couple days out of the week. You're pulling up at this time. It's not out of the ordinary. You're not going out of your way to be seen by her. But you guys are always in this spot, typically on these certain days or something. There has to be a level of cordial that doesn't go into the energy that you're providing. She has to go out of her way now to chase that energy now because you can't just readily give it away. It hasn't been respected by her since she pulled away. So she has to miss it. The only way she misses it is if you. Keep that to yourself. You keep it up on you. You keep it so close to you that she's going to have to be like, oh, I have to get close to him. I'm going to have to get close to him if I want some more of that energy. That energy is good. She's going to have no choice but to get close to you. She's going to want to get close to you. She's going to have to get close to you. All right. And guys, this only happens when they know you have been a benefit to them, even just energy. Why I'm telling you guys, it's all about that, because a lot of these women out here are walking around depressed. They don't know where they're headed in life. They they have no guidance and inherently that's what they need, but they're avoiding it. I'm not saying you got to come out here and save these hoes, but if you present the ability to right, and your energy is very alluring to them. I'm assuming since that's why she was hooking up with you in the first place or getting with you in the first place. Then all you got to do is take that energy back there and remember she has to value it. So she has to earn it. If she's going to earn it again. She's going to have to chase you because you're holding that energy close to you, bro. And you're valuable. She should earn it. She should respect it. This is only to get shit back on point. This is how you get it back on point. All we're after is that first initiation, guys. This is going to get that first initiation because the thoughts in the back of her mind. Did I do something wrong? Oh, he he hasn't hit me back. What about these plans that he said he bought? And then this, you didn't say nothing about it. You pulled everything back. Guys, any form of communication you had has to come to a stop. In person, you better keep that same energy on you so she can gravitate towards it. And don't be willy nilly giving it out, bro. Not to her. She has to earn the shit. Make it happen, bro. Make them respect you. This is how they respect you, bro. This is how they respect who you are as a man. Literally you, not just your pockets or what you're wearing or who you know. You, only you. Let her wonder. How come this has changed? Because you was at the brand new, bitch. So I had to show you. You really value me.